Hi! That's how you greet people, if you're insane. Look at this fancy lighter. Oh, There it goes. Mm. Mm. I think a lot of people don't really get the point of the pipe, and that is to slow down and to, to focus on it. The way that you smoke a pipe can, uh, can I think make you a much better father too. Think about the two things that a pipe requires, uh, time, and you also need to give it quite a bit of attention. Those two areas are so beneficial in one's life period. If you can find a way to slow down and to focus your attention somewhere outside of your looping brain, uh, life can be a lot better. It's a great way to get out of the trappings of worry and stress and just craziness of the day. The endless loop that does nothing but worry you more doesn't actually help the situation at all, and can also uh, slow you down, just get you out of that crazy life schedule, the hecticness, hecticness of life. Oh man, those are both really good things, very important. I'm a very big fan of old radio shows from like the 1930s, 40s, 50s, and old television, like uh, Andy Griffith's show, Leave it to Beaver is one of my favorites. I've been on a real Leave it to Beaver kick lately. A couple things that you take from old radio shows and music and just that time period is that we have lost tremendously a part of life that was just ingrained in culture in the old days. Even though I wasn't alive then, I don't quite remember the 1940s and 50s, watching anything from that time period very quickly reminds you of something we've lost so, I mean like, gone from our culture today. I don't know what to call it, maybe the art of doing nothing. Especially in kids today. Kids and adults, but I think something that kids have lost is boredom. Boredom brings about creativity. It brings about your imagination, especially, I mean, because as soon as kids are born today and adults, you know what they do? They grab their stinking phones, something with a screen, because it brings immediate distraction and comfort and good feelings. You know what it doesn't do? It doesn't really make you think or imagine eight. Imaginate, that's a word. That's something kids need to do, more imaginating. If you look at a kid, they're made up of a lot more than like their eyes and their thumbs, which is pretty much all they're using when they're on their phones. They have a lot more to offer the world, but none of that's being used when you're sitting there looking at a screen. A lot of people today, including uh, people I know, are very freaked out about AI and the metaverse and what that's gonna look like, because it's for sure coming. The thing that I look at is our kids for sure are already there. They're already spending a significant amount of their time in a digital world on their phones, and we just are kind of like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Go play in your room. Go go stare at a screen. It used to be in the 1950s, that was a scary thing for parents. TV, television, kids are just staring at screens, and we've come to a point today where that's all our kids do, and we're just like fine with it. We're just like, yeah, whatever. This, is, this video is not about screen time and getting away from screens. Parents are just bad. Usually the kids are on the screens, and so are the parents. One of the problems with that that's the point I'm trying to make, is that we try to fill every stinking ounce of time we have with something. If we're not being productive, if we're not doing something, we feel like we're, I don't know, like we're just, like we're being passed up. Like we're failing in some way. It's a weird thing. I don't know why we feel that way. But then you look at life in the 1940s, 50s, even probably 60s, um, People had so much more downtime. People would just relax. They would literally do nothing, like sit outside on their porches, sit outside with a good pipe or cigar, and literally do nothing. I think a pretty significant amount of time for a lot of people was spent not doing anything. There was a lot of just nothing. And a tobacco pipe can bring that back for momentary parts of your day. Uh, and for that, I think it's... Uh, it's often overlooked. 
It's significant, truly significant. Today, the idea of doing nothing means you're lazy, means you're being passed up, means you're not doing what you should. There's just this idea of go, go, go constantly. I don't know where that came from or why it's here. I think there's a lot of value to be gained by doing nothing. No screens, maybe some music, maybe some homemade apple pie. Hmm. Just do nothing. At least for momentary times within your day. So I would advise you to watch a lot more of my videos and then don't watch any others. Put the phone down and do nothing for a while. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, spend a little more time on it. Thumbs it up, comment, share it with a million people. I'm trying to grow this channel significantly and could really use your help getting me there if you would. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.